you want to pick anything related to baby, anything related to your product. And if the ads are less than ROS, you don't know what spend should I kill? Yes, you should kill your ad sets when they go negative ROAS or they hit profit margin or break even point with zero sales. Actually, you know, uh, PayPal is not work in Pakistan. So I am working with the help of my brother. I know um, friends that do six figures a month with no Stripe or no PayPal. They just use one payment gateway, either Stripe or PayPal. They don't have both and they still do six figures. So this person is from Pakistan and is able to make dropshipping work. This is like an amazing and motivating interview that I highly recommend everyone to watch. Dinesh here has found some winning ad sets and we go over a call and I help him actually scale it. Like we actually delve into his ad account. You can see that his currency is in Dubai currency um, and actually show him how to horizontally scale, how to increase the budgets and how he can actually sort of scale this product out. And you actually see everything. Like we delve into his ad account with you guys and I take you guys along for the journey and it's just motivating seeing that mm. someone all the way in Pakistan is able to make dropshipping work. So I definitely highly recommend everyone that's sort of international to really watch this interview because we actually see live visual proof that he's able to do it in his local currency and he's able to do it in Pakistan somewhere that not a lot of people would think dropshipping could work. So here's the interview. My name is Danish. I'm doing a software engineering and my age is 28 now. Awesome. And how long have you been following my content? Uh, I'm following you last one, uh, one month or two months, I guess. What is your current sort of business level? I have just started this. Uh, I'm not actually doing as um, business any, but I'm just completing a, I am in seventh semester now. Awesome. How much sort of sales have you been able to do so far? In total? In total, I have did uh, 22 sales, but uh, I didn't fulfill, uh, didn't get one CPF, which is called uh, um, CPF number of uh, Brazilian resident. So I failed to fulfill his uh, her order because uh, I sent him three emails and didn't get any response from her. So I will return his money and I sold 21. Uh, items of uh, bottle. And where do you want to scale your business to? I want to scale business uh, at least uh, a month right now more than 1000. Awesome. All right, let's get jump straight into it and tell me what's sort of stopping you from getting there. I am actually confusing in ads, you know, Facebook ads. Perfect. You can show me your Facebook ads. These are the Facebook ads that I'm running. Yeah, check it out. These are the campaigns. These ads, uh, I'm getting all the sets from these ads. What currency is this in? Uh, it's a UA dirham. Do you know what your break even point is? Uh, yes, uh, 1.66. Got it. So you have Baby Shop, which is profitable, and E Packet Men Infant, that's profitable, which is good. You have a few profitable ad sets. Yes, I have the profitable access, but I don't know. Uh, I'm stuck in you know, in scaling. So I see that Baby Shop has six website purchases. So that's very good. Yes. Um, yeah. How much did you start the budget at? Uh, you know, 20 to 25 dollars uh, uh, every day using these ad sets. And have you increased the budget yet for Baby Shop? Uh, no, I didn't increase the budget yet. Since you got more than three purchases profitably, you should double the budget. And when we have to start new campaign from these ad sets, these are, uh, which are profitable ad sets. You want to go ahead and duplicate Baby Shop and pick similar interests that you have not tested. I don't know how to increase uh, more interest. I try but fail, you know what more interest about these ad sets because uh, this bottle is only related to uh, moms which have the baby uh, one to two year or newly born babies so let's go ahead and do it together duplicate it uh, one time or two time uh, one time okay 
now you could go down to the interest detail targeting and then you could click on suggestions and you scroll down have you tested baby center uh, yes i have tested many ads related to these types of uh, suggestions in other ads how about in this product and this ad uh, uh, no this product no i haven't did so you have to test all the interest for this product uh, and including this uh, baby shop no you would remove baby shop and that's how you horizontally scale and every time you get three purchases you want to double the budget on the ad sets and then you can remove baby shop and then you could rename that name to baby center and then publish should i increase the budget no when you scale horizontally you want to launch these interest tests at five dollars a day and that's how you scale with Dinesh. Uh, i have you know, there is a lot of many suggestions you know should i follow one suggestion or find out the ditch on which audience you want to pick anything related to baby anything related to your product and if the ads are less than ROS, you don't know ad spend should i kill yes you should kill your ad sets when they go negative ROAS or they hit profit margin or break even point with zero sales. Mm -hmm. Currently, my stores, you know, mm -hmm. more, uh, more than 300 USD dollar in loss because I tested many products that fed. Part of the game, you have to keep testing. Um, you know, I was lost $5,000 before I found my winning product. Actually, you know, uh, PayPal is not work in Pakistan. So I am working with the help of my brother. I know um, friends that do six figures a month with no Stripe or no PayPal. They just use one payment gateway, either Stripe or PayPal. They don't have both and they still do six figures. Uh, actually, if uh, the pro um, I got some profit, then I will uh, talk to my brother. He, uh, there is a Stripe, so we can use Stripe as well. Okay, can you please check out uh, my store and any suggestion? Clean, very clean. Change the banner. It looks a bit too salesy. Change it to something more natural and lifestyle. And you can also remove the Christmas sale because Christmas has finished. Yeah, Christmas has finished. So should I move to other, uh, you know, domain or I have to speak with this domain? Since the ads are working, stick with this domain. And then when it's unprofitable, go to a new general store once your product dies out. But don't launch new products on this same store. And uh, these are the apps right now uh, I have installed. Check it out uh, if I can do better. What do you think about it? I don't think you need Privy. Okay. But uh, I have seen t three to four people, you know, use Privy code. But usually I don't like to do pop-ups, um, but if it works, keep it. Okay, thank you. I have got it. Thank you, Andy, so much. You're welcome, Dinesh. Hopefully you are able to get value from this consulting call, man. Uh, I have heard the, um, when you got successful 3 to 4 ads working, and then um, we can uh, copy these same ads uh, with a new campaign. You just want to double the budget. Okay. So, didn't need to start new campaign, right? No. Awesome, Dinesh. Let me know if you have any questions and if you are able to get some value today. That's the video. Hope you guys found some value. Very practical video. We delve into this ad account. You guys get a look over my shoulder as I'm looking over his shoulder and you guys can see me give him critical, live and actionable advice that you guys can apply to your own Facebook ads this very moment. Also, we see the reality of dropshipping and we see how much potential e-commerce has empowering people such as Zanesh all the way from Pakistan actually make dropshipping work. So I hope you guys found value in this interview. Question of the day, what country are you dropshipping from? Drop in the comments below. I want to hear where you guys are. Let me know your thoughts. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying the value I've been dropping every single day. All I ask is for a simple subscribe, hit the like button. That's all I ask. 
Thank you so much for putting your time in watching these daily videos. I just want to say thank you and I really appreciate all my viewers and subscribers and I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow with more value. Peace.